hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Onyi Sunshine Emi I'm a Nigerian food blogger based in the Republic of Ireland and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this delicious mouth watering Sunday delicacy and in case you are watching me for the first time or you have been watching my videos and you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. At the end of this video, don't forget to like it and share this video. Share with your friends and loved ones. Okay guys, let's jump right into the video. So these are the chicken I'm going to be making. This is whole chicken, but I already washed this chicken. It's already cleaned and I cut it this way yeah and these are my seasoning and herbs I'm going to use to make this chicken so yummy so we're going to be using our chicken shake peri peri seasoning paprika jack seasoning seasoning cubes ground nutmeg coriander rosemary crushed chilies oregano ginger and garlic chicken stock one green bell pepper onions and peppers olive oil but you can use sunflower or vegetable oil if you want black pepper color. so we are going to begin by blending some of our ingredients Here I'm going to be blending only onions, habanero pepper. I added my rosemary and peppercorn. We are adding few peppercorn, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my ginger and garlic. Yeah. So uh, that is my ginger. So after this, I'm going to throw in my seasoning cube here. So I think it's better to put it and my bell peppers. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my olive oil to blend it up. Yes, because you're still gonna use the oil to marinate, so it's better you use it to blend it. That's the best. Don't ever add water when you're blending. Yes. So this is it. I just finished blending it. Yeah, I just finished blending it because whenever I'm making my chicken, I like to use especially whole chicken. I like using fresh onions and the ginger garlic. I have all the dried one. But I like to use fresh one because it brings out the taste. Yes, it brings out the taste. I don't know if you haven't tried it. So now I'm adding all the dry seasoning in there. So I'm gonna add everything together. Yeah, and mix it properly. So you can see the seasoning cubes are already blended. So it's only to add this one. You can even add everything and blend it at the same time. So now I'm adding my some salt I'm not adding much salt I just added a little bit of salt I did not much of salt it okay so this is it I just mixed everything together Mix it properly, okay, and test it. Oh, the test is exactly what I want, okay. So, after this, we're gonna go ahead and start rubbing it in our chicken. So, that is it. And grease the pan if you want so I'm going to pour the marinade into the chicken and I'm gonna make sure I rub it rub it all over it rub it and make sure it's get inside the chicken let it go inside you can you can poke your chicken 
beforehand you can pluck it so that so that the marrow can get inside you know let it get inside you can pocket the marinade inside look at it yeah you can put it under the skin make sure the marinade goes under the skin of the chicken yeah put enough marinade okay okay so this is exactly how we're going to do this yeah this is it yes rub it all over all over don't be stingy with the marinade, okay? So make sure you blend enough. Any leftover can be kept in the freezer. I use it anytime to make something sharp sharp and my children can use it without them doing much work. We are going to be eating our chicken with potato wedges. I choose to cut it this way. I cooked my potatoes for two to three minutes yeah but you don't really need to do that because it's still gonna get ready anyway at least you can see the way i cut it it's, and it is really really small so it's still gonna get ready so you don't have to okay. this is our second chicken you can put holes in your in your chicken before adding your marinade yeah it depends but it's really really good because it's gonna give this chicken a very nice taste like when you eat it the taste is gonna be everywhere okay this is not the taste that is gonna end up only on top of the chicken go the inside the chicken you're gonna feel the taste you're going to enjoy this chicken every part of the chicken okay after 30 to 40 minutes i brought the chicken out and flip it over and i'm gonna put it back for another 30 to 40 minutes yes I want this potato to soak to soak up all the stuff that is coming out from the chicken. I want it to be very very yummy. Yes. You can add more marinade on top of the chicken. guys our food is ready guys this chicken and wedges is so so delicious oh my god guys try this meal out. try it yes follow this recipe and come back and thank me later okay so guys look at it is this not calling your name tell me this chicken was so delicious much watering it is more than delicious guys so we have come to the end of this video and don't forget to like subscribe okay and turn your notification bell on guys turn it on and don't forget to share share this video okay and leave me a comment if you want okay okay guys thank you and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye bye So we're going to be eating it with our wedges, potato wedges and the uh, salad.